rehabilitation forms a very, very important part of the treatment of uh, stroke. Uh, the medication that one typically employs after a patient has uh, suffered a stroke is basically directed towards preventing further episodes of uh, impaired blood circulation to the brain causing a stroke. So the established deficits have to be basically handled by multimodal rehabilitation. Uh, there is the uh, physiotherapy which basically uh, aims at correcting the gross motor problems, the, the paralysis, the weakness, the uh, issues associated with balance and movement. The fine motor or skilled movements are in, lie in the realm of an occupational therapist. For example, the recovery of uh, skilled functions such as writing, using of various instruments such as a typewriter or a, a keyboard for example. These would come into the realm of uh, the expertise of an occupational therapist. And uh, one of the very important areas of disability in uh, patients who are recovering from a stroke is around speech and swallowing and that comes into the domain of a speech therapist. Speech problems in stroke are again also of two types. One, uh, we call them language uh, deficits and language problems, which is basically a problem of comprehension of the, the, the intellectual content of speech, which we call language. And the second part is uh, the articulation of speech or the production of speech sounds, which takes place at the lower level, at the, at the level of the articulatory apparatus. And this is also intimately connected with the problems around swallowing. The uh, issues with speech and swallowing form a significant uh, uh, component of the disability and the impairment of quality of life that follows uh, stroke and needs energetic rehabilitation. Most patients who have suffered a stroke are devastated. It's a catastrophic illness. The reaction to uh, uh, such a, uh, a devastating illness is usually one of anxiety and depression and therefore cognitive rehabilitation to help over patients overcome their cognitive difficulties, address their mood and behavioral problems also becomes a very, very important part of the whole process of rehabilitation for uh, stroke. And, and hence multimodal rehabilitation therapy forms a very, very important part of the rehabilitation that we offer our patients with stroke.